How far have you gone for beauty? Um, I haven't gone that far. There was this one time I wore a waist trainer for like three days straight, but I don't really go that far for it. Have you ever had any cosmetic procedures? No. Ever been questioned or accused of one? No. What is your opinion on cosmetic procedures? You know, if that's what you want to do with your body, go for it. You know, it's your choice. I know you haven't done anything yet, as you mentioned, but is that something you've ever considered personally? I've definitely considered it, but I don't think I would actually do it. Like, of course, I'll get like a little eyebrow lift, and I'll get my lips done, and I'll get a little BBL, but. I mean, I'm just going to stay natural. It's all things I just think about. Now, has it just always been a thought, or have you ever sought consultation for any of these items? It's always just been a thought, yeah. What stopped you? I mean, I just, I don't want to have to keep going back every few years to get it maintained, you know? I'd rather just naturally develop. All right. Now, being in the modeling industry, mm -hmm. do you consider yourself a specific type of model or a certain category of modeling? I definitely, I do more high fashion, which is more the taller and slimmer girls. Um, and yeah, I do lots of runway and then catalog and e-commerce, but not any of the fitness ones. I do swimsuit, but... That's about it. Speaking of height, care to share what your height is? I'm about 5'9". 5'9", 5'10". I think I'm 5'9". Now, when it comes to influencing, you do consider yourself a social media, social media influencer. Mm -hmm. All right. Being in both of these industries, modeling and influencing, is there a pressure to enhance your body? Um, yeah, I mean, there's always someone out there that's prettier and has fuller hips and has better features than you, but, like, it's really, it all comes down to how confident you are with yourself, really. Yeah. Do you feel more of a pressure from one industry versus the other, or is it even? I'd say social media is a lot more pressuring because everything on social media is fake. At least, oops, at least whenever um, you're modeling, you're with people face to face and you see them in person and you know it's not all this unreal stuff. Now, at this point, being that you've never had any cosmetic procedures, is that something you take pride in? Is that something maybe perhaps you promote? Um, the fact that you haven't had any procedures. So, for example, I've seen people on social media, they'll maybe put it in their bio, maybe tag in some of their pictures, they'll put hashtag natural or mm -hmm. hashtag team natural, things of that nature. I don't really promote it because, you know, I don't want to make people feel bad that have gotten it done, you know. I don't really talk about it, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knows. Let me get your opinion on this. If someone's having a fat transfer, let's say moving fat from the stomach to the butt, mm -hmm. is that still considered a natural body? Your personal um, opinion here. I think, I, wouldn't, I would say anytime you're getting work done that it is unnatural if it didn't come naturally. But I do think that that is the most natural type of surgery that you can get that tends to look the best. Now, aside from cosmetic procedures, there may be some in the audience wondering a few questions about you. Hmm. Is this your real hair? Yeah, this is my real hair. It's a bit frizzy right now because I was out in the rain, but, you know, it is my real hair. Are these your real eyelashes? No. Nothing on my face is real. My contacts are fake. My makeup's on. Care to share what your uh, natural eye color is? Oh, yeah, it's a dark brown. Super dark, just like yours. We have the same color. Are these your real teeth? 
Yes. Ever had braces? Ever done Invisalign? No, I've never had any work done on my teeth. And are these your real nails? Yes, they are. Now, let's flip the script here. What is your opinion on men fixing themselves cosmetically? Um, I think it's the same way, you know? If that's what you want to do, do it. I am curious with your personal opinion for the next following question. What is your opinion on men with weave, with extensions? For example, a man with fake dreads. <laughs> you showed me a video one time with a man that had fake waves and he was bald underneath. I mean, I think if it looks good, it's the same way that girls wear weave. You know, it shouldn't be a problem. And girls are people that try to make guys feel bad about that. They're just stupid and probably huge hypocrites. What's your opinion on men wearing Beijing in their hair or their beard to cover up a thinning or bald spot? What is Beijing? Is that like a covering spot or something? Yeah, it's, it's a... I don't have the specific terminology in front of me, but yeah, let's say they have a thinning or balding spot. A barber will mm -hmm. put this product in a person's hair and it'll make it look like it's covered think, up. It's, I think it's the same. I think I always say a guy's haircut is like a girl's makeup. So the same way we fill in our brows, you know, if a guy wants to fix something with his hair, I don't know. What's your opinion on men using henna to cover up grays in a beard, for example? I have never actually heard of anyone doing that, so I have no opinion. What about this? Men with scalp micropigmentation, a.k.a. a hair tattoo. So they get <laughs> follicles tattooed I've on a thinning that. or balding spot. Oh, like you tattoo in your hair. Yeah. A, a, a professional, of course, will tattoo follicles that'll make it look like yeah. there's hair there it, at, in a balding spot. And they can also do some do a man's hairline yeah perfectly. i think that's fine it's the same thing as microblading for our eyebrows what's your opinion on men with veneers i think they look good honestly like if you have bad teeth i think men with great teeth is beautiful so i like that and there's obviously a, a lot more things guys can do cosmetically but one more what is your opinion on men that get lipo? I think it's okay, you know? I don't think it's any different with men getting it than women. And uh, again, for time reference, it's December 2021.